Wow, we are really moving along tonight. We're already up to the 120 pound final. And the 120 pound final is gonna be really exciting as we have Daniel Jones of Del Barton, a former state champion, representing as a top seed. Versus a little bit of a surprise, the three seed, uh, Jaden Barreto from Morris Hills, came into the tournament as the three seed, start, uh, entered 18 and six, and we're heading here right into this match. Jones has to be a heavy favorite, but Barreto's been fighting the whole time. Yeah, and he had a huge upset. Um, against Michael Hare in the semifinals, pinning him in three minutes and 35 seconds. Um, and again, Hare came in at 22 and six, and you're looking at Bar uh, Jaden Barreto came in at 18 and six. Um, and he's an 11th grader going against another 11th grader from Del Barton. And Jones already t with the takedown and, and five points. He's gonna try to make this a quick one, I think. Jones working in for some stuff. I mean, as we said, Del Barton's already clinched the tournament. And we had the pleasure of wrestling uh, Daniel Jones earlier this morning. <laughs> so I will give my kid credit. He actually funked through on him. He didn't get the takedown. It looked close, but uh, it was the one highlight that we had at our 120-pound match. Jones with the takedown. He's going to get the three back points. Going to run the score to 10-1. to one. So he just tilted him. He didn't, he's holding now probably three. Now he's holding two, so he's getting the count back. And now he's hit his five counts, so now he's holding three. And you're going to see Daniel Jones probably come back up, get his back points, and switch to a different move. It looked like he was settling in there, but just couldn't get the shoulder to the mat. Nah, but now he was running an armbar tilt. Now he's running an armbar and a half. Uh, it's deadly when you get it that deep. Because now he can run the half on that side. He, Oh, he called it potentially dangerous. Mm. When you run it like that, though, you run the half on one side. He doesn't go over with the half. You just pop to the other side and run the armbar. So. He's going to let him up, I think. Yeah, I, uh, that's what I thought. I think they were going to let him up. Go, he's just been taking him down at will, so. I think you're going to see this match end before six minutes. You might see this match end before three minutes. Not, and nothing against Barreto. It's just no, Danny I mean, Jones is just a top quality wrestler who's won a state title. Right. I mean, and look at the speed on Jones. Just chaining his moves together from one move to the next. I mean, obviously, he's an excellent wrestler. There's a roll through tilt. It's actually like a... Pretty much a two-on-one tilt, but watch. He's going to try to thread that through to the armbar. T lets go of that, but he's trying to thread the armbar through and finish with that. So try to get a tilt. So here's here so the tilt again. Get it before the end. And if he does, he is. this is going to be the match. So he teched him in, in the first period. He gets a tech fall. So congratulations, minutes. Daniel Jones. Congratulations, Daniel Jones. An uh, impressive showing from Jones here in the 120 final. And by the way, I want to give a little shout out to Dave Doty. Um, he's one of the athletic directors in charge. He guaranteed that this finals would start at 415, and we start at 415 flat. So thanks, Dave, for doing a great job. Great job, Dave Doty. Um, you know, awesome job this year. Everything's run so smoothly. It's been amazing. But speaking of amazing, we're going to send it to James Clark, who has our 120-pound champion, Daniel Jones. All right, everybody, thank you. I am here with Daniel Jones, not to be confused with the quarterback from the New York Giants. I wish it was him, but uh, Daniel Jones from Del Barton won his uh, MCT title here today. Dan, congratulations to you, man. Del Barton on a roll for a matter of years. Just talk about the tradition and how it feels to really be a part of uh, you know, Morris County and Del Barton. Yeah, of course. I mean, obviously, had a great coaching staff, so... You know, we're always pushing each other in the room. We got great training partners. So kind of just to be a part of the culture is just amazing because to see everyone do well and wanting each other to win is just kind of an amazing thing. So, you know, it's going well over there. And I think you guys have that tradition. You guys just keep moving forward with it. It's just awesome to think. Now, you know, you guys have been a powerhouse for so many years. And, you know, we're getting down to the end of the season now. We're going to have sections coming up. And you guys will probably have to face, like, a Bergen Catholic or any other, uh, you know, private schools that are usually good. Just talk about that. Do you feel like you guys have what it takes to really go down far? Yeah, I think so. I think that we definitely have that mentality where we want to be at the top and obviously, you know, criteria last year, whatever. We're still pushing each other. We have a good mindset in the room and we know that 
we're the best team in the state. And with, with uh, the training that we've been doing and everyone just pushing each other, I think that we can be any team in the state and maybe even in the country. So I think that, I think that we'll definitely do what's needed to be done. And I think you guys can do it. So, Dan, congratulations to you. Thank Good you luck so the rest of the season. Now I go back over to Don and Steve for the next match. Thanks so much, James. Great interview. Jones is one of those guys I had to interview through uh, P-Bird back in the day when they had states there and I had to do it over Zoom. Very quiet kid, but uh, I think he's going to be making some big noise for Del Barton. We'll be back with the rest of the weights. Now, here's a word from our sponsors. Special thank you to all our sponsors who helped make these videos possible this week. Harrington Construction and Company, Harrington Services and Demolition, W.J. Harrington and Sons Contractors, Hoffman's Supply, Home and Garden Center, and locally, the 19th Hole, Ginza Bar, Restaurant, and Sushi, Mount Olive Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Sports Clips of Flanders, The Market Tavern, Sub Pub Submarines and Sandwiches, The Marketplace, Wicklow and Lorraino Landscaping, OMG Burger and Brew, and then the man I can't forget, Dan Warnikoff, Champion Athletes. Dan is the man if you want to get nutrition done right. Thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.